Looks like you're running close to full dive. Zen, Ana, Winston Diva, Genji. What's your other tracer? Or what's your other DPS? I say tracer. Ah, uh, Torb. Okay. This, this can work. You can dive with your Winston if you see him going in for something, but... Seriously, I cannot see this stupid screen. There you go. Get ready to be spyloed. Yeah, this is a rip. Thanks, Bogey. Tracer, Ash. You could keep poking versus that. Just be careful. Hog. Aim for the fatties. Good. Taking an off angle. Fine. Need to be hitting these shurikens. Very nice. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't. Mm. That's incredibly risky. Chat, why is this incredibly risky? So many people. They've got sleep. I mean, yeah, but there's something even bigger than that of why this is risky. Could have been DM'd, yeah, could have been DM'd. But you're missing the biggest one. I'm gonna let you listen for the listen again. What do you not hear? Oh hang on. Actually, I take that back. It's been used. She used Nade. She used Nade just now. Send if you dive in here. And you did were not tracking Nate, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna you know, be honest with me, Zen. Did you dive in here because she had just used Nate? Because I just I missed her using Nate because the audio was too low. Okay, so you're so you didn't track Nate. Okay, so because this is a feed if you don't track Nate, it's potentially still a feed even if you do track Nate, like literally like a centimeter away from getting matrixed. Um, but if you cheat, you track Nate, it's even worse. That was a bad dash. Terrible dash. Terrible dash. Terrible dash. High ground. Thank you for the sub, Lady Tush. Three months in a row. I appreciate you. Very kind of you. Okay. Do not get greedy here. You get out. You dash for damage instead of dashing for escape and it almost costs you. So, so, far, so far we've seen a dive without the proper trigger and then a greedy dash. Sorry, ignoring the cat. Hello, Hoist. You did because you hit her with shurikens. Well, obviously you hit her with shurikens. Thank you for that. But hitting her with shurikens, taking her to half HP, isn't enough to get the kill if she still has Nade. Especially when she has her entire team with her. So you have to track Nade. Like, if you want to consistently get to Masters, you have to understand the windows from when you can dive in aggressively like that. And it's not just like you clearly go, okay, HP was low enough so that I can dive. But now you got to start tracking Nade. Okay, so you got to start tracking, like, ignore Nate. You have to start tracking cooldowns, right? Right? It's got to happen. I mean, how many times have you done a dive and said, oh, crap, that failed because I didn't track her cooldown? Versus how many times have you do dove and failed and then said, oh, I, I, I messed it up because I'm just a bad Genji. Or I just couldn't hit her in the head. Be honest with yourself. How many times has, has have you blamed your inability to track cooldowns or your lack of cooldowns? And how many times have you blamed it on your, like your just mechanics you were not? Right, it's always heads. Isn't that funny how it's always clicking heads? Isn't that funny? That should raise a red flag for you. You play Mihos when you play Genji? Sure. They, they might have pulse and, and that's it right now. Yeah, way too soon of a deflect. That's a pretty aggressive dash there. I mean, I guess you're in your own, you're in your own zone, so you can get away with it. But <clears throat> I, I want to watch this over again. <clears throat> okay. And that's it right now. Okay, so. This deflect, I assume you're expecting pulse bomb? 
That's the only way. It, 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 were you expecting pulse bomb here? Because that's the only reason this deflect is worth anything. Um, but even then, I, I wouldn't expect her to try and pulse bomb you. I would not be my expectation. And you have to understand now, like, first off, you, you're, you're full health. So there's no reason for you to dash here. You, you need to avoid dashing. Okay, you need to avoid dashing until she's used recall. It's like the same thing as like, and, and the reason why I know this so well is not just because I played Genji, but because a lot of the other heroes are like this too. So like when you're playing Zenyatta, you try to avoid charging a right click until Tracer's used her recall. With Ana, you try to avoid sleeping Tracer until she's used her recall. With Genji, you try and avoid dashing Tracer until you use, she's used her recall. And the reason for that is, is if you just whiff all your shurikens, and she puts you down to low HP, you need an escape route, right? And so if you commit dash early, and then you just, you know, you you whiff all your shurikens, you no longer have an escape route. Deflect isn't good enough against the tracer. So you could use deflect, that's fine. But like once you commit your dash, you are A, committing to win the fight, or, gar or B, you are guaranteed an alternative escape route, which even in this location isn't really guaranteed. Like you are closer to your team, but because, you do this because like your team commits here. So do you have no guarantee that your team should commit here? They really shouldn't. And you have no guarantee that they should commit. They would commit here. So now you have no cooldowns. Tracer just recalled and you're screwed. You are absolutely screwed. Um, you should know better than this. This should be a rule 99% of the time. Do not commit dash until you've seen a recall. And there's two reasons for that. One is just because we already discussed you don't have an escape route. And can you tell me the second reason why you don't commit dash until after she's used recall? Think about it. Think about what at that state in the fight, what is a tracer likely to have? Oh, Geo got it. Tracer's going to have blinks. Early in the fight, Trace, you need to assume that tracer's got blinks. Okay. If you save dash until after she's used recall then she's likely to only have one blink left, okay? Because she's probably used them up until then. Or maybe zero blinks left. And good tracers will use blinks to avoid your dash, so there is less likely a chance that she'll avoid your dash with a blink. So that 50 damage goes a long way. You need to make sure you're hitting it. And if this tracer blinks out of the way, you're even in a worse situation than you already are. So you need to be able to save your dash to not only ensure the kill, um, to get away, or to, like, it increases your chance of actually landing the damage when you use it later in the fight after she's used recall. Okay. So a lot a lot wrong with this. The deflect early was kind of a bummer. I assume that you were expecting pull, so it's only acceptable thing that I would have done there. Not even then, I don't know that it was a good call. You dash early. Your team overcommits to you, which isn't really your fault. That's just what your team tried to do to help you, which was nice of them. But be doing so, they leave Torb by himself. Now, I already see people in chat saying, oh, he nanoed Winston. But Nana Winston was probably 5 HP here. So this was to save Winston's life because he got stuck. So the nano boost was fine. It's unfortunate, but it was necessary. Okay. Sometimes I use dash right away, but only if I'm hiding around a corner. And get, yeah, again, the point is, is like you, it's not a hard rule. It's just a general rule to follow. And if you understand, if you use dash early, not, um, you need to be able to get away because you're committing to kill her very fast. And if it fails, you will die. You will die. And the problem with that is you really you're just assuming that she's going to mess up or you're going to hit a couple shuriken headshots that she's not going to expect. Because if you dash early, there is literally nothing stopping her from recalling you and then killing you. Hey, Neptune, my day has been good. Play? Yeah. So this fight is lost. You really should just go for the honor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a lost fight at that situation. But like looking back at that, you be you messed up your tracer engagement. Um, you messed up your tracer engagement. You went in for a greedy play before that, and then your dash was greedy after that as well. And it, and it puts you, you almost got killed in the fight before. So the actual losing the fight wasn't necessarily your fault, but you made plenty of mistakes that just didn't get punished hard enough. Like we could look, we could have looked at that and we could have said that Torb dying could have been you. And the only reason it wasn't you is because instead of your team helping your Torb, they chose you. But you made them choose to help you because you were, because you screwed up the engagement so hard. Okay. Thank you so much, Ash here. Nice. All right. Uh, there's at least two far 
Yeah, especially on 2CP, Solo Blade, folks, easy wins. The question is, is when when are you going to Solo Blade them? Are you going to Solo Blade as they engage, or are you going to Solo Blade them before they engage? <clears throat> and tell me why so like tell me why blading before the enemy team engages or before your team engages so you don't have to wait for your team to go in you just have to wait for the enemy team to do something and not even the whole team just like a couple people on their team to do something before you engage and why is that Sen? why do you need to wait for engagements to start happening before you use your blade <clears throat> on either side either side Is it worth it to wait for Nanoblade to use Blade without getting to one kill? I mean, depends on how close you are to Nano. And depends on if your Ana's communicating with you. If your Ana's not communicating with you, then no. If your Ana is communicating with you and she's 50% on Nano, then no. If your Ana is communicating you and 85 or 90% on Nano, then yes. But even then, like if you can feel like you can get a Blade without Nano Boost, then, then you don't necessarily need it. Like if you could get away with just using Blade here and getting one kill, you've already won the fight. You've already won the fight or two kills. So you could use Nano afterwards, but it's it's not a big deal. It's, it really doesn't matter if you use Nano Blade. It's not really a waste. It's fine. Because people use cooldowns when engagements happen. Yes. And it's not just the cooldowns, but it's also like the, the so so the question comes in. Why are, why do they use cooldowns before engagements happen? So you have done blade equals engage equals good. So in other words, in either side engages a blade is good. All right, that's only level one. Level two is what you said. Why is it good? Why? Because cooldown equals used. So there's less cooldowns to devote to you. So the question is, send, why? Why are cooldowns used? We have to keep going. You need to understand the concept all the way through. So you understand the exceptions to the rule. Your masters now, we, we can start digging a little bit deeper to fight my team, right? There's been an actual engagement. So so there's attention drawn elsewhere. Attention, attention drawn elsewhere. So they're not just all looking at you. The, the cooldowns were used because they're looking at somebody else. And if they're looking at somebody else, they're not looking at you. And if they're not looking at you, then you kill people. That's how it works. That's why tanks exist because tanks demand threat are fat are dangerous so that they can enable you to do what you want without getting curb stomped by the enemy diva and winston and tracer and everybody right they're demanding attention and if you time it correctly when your tanks can actually do your job or your other dps can do their actual job maybe they're looking at your ash or your your, your torb or something then you will find more value if you use your blade here, you will not find value, probably. If you use your blade here, probably won't find value. If you use blade as the enemy team engages, as as you team engage, and their attention is taken elsewhere, while you're blading here, you will get more kills, and you'll get stopped less often. Be curb stopped anyway. Well, we'll try and find why. Will it be mechanics, or will it be decision making? Because remember, we talked about this with the Ana. You did not track nade, and you went in, and you found success. Part of it was mechanical success, but also it was just because she just didn't happen to have nades. So the second you dash in, she didn't nade her feet. If she hadn't done so, you would have died. So you got lucky on the earlier dash. Will you get lucky now, or will it truly just be a mechanical failure? Hmm. Okay, this isn't exactly a curb stomp. So this is fine. This isn't the worst thing in the world. So a little bit more of an engage would have been nice because we've got tanks on top of their support now. So this is not a good decision. You miss your right click into your blade cancel. I believe, yeah. Your, your dash gets booped. And that, if that your dash doesn't get booped if there's something that's actually the diva is actually doing. So this blade fails because of the Winston and the diva. Like like look at this. Like I, I this isn't the worst blade. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But if you look at this with completely unobj like objective viewpoint, Ana didn't stop you. 
Ash didn't stop you. Mercy didn't stop you. The diva and Winston stopped you. That should be a red flag. Right? That should be a red flag. Did you hit the pillar? I feel like maybe did you? I think the diva no the diva booped you into the pillar. The diva booped you into the pillar. It was the diva. You would not have hit the pillar if the diva had not been there. I do like our target change here. I don't like the deflect. Uh, yeah. Anyway. You demac the diva, you pull enough attention to yourself so the blade is a success because the the entirety of the enemy team is on you, um, and you're and and, and and at least you engage in a spot where your team could engage too. So you engage, your team engages, and though even though you didn't do a whole lot outside of demac the diva, your team does, takes that opportunity to push in. But the reason this failed was because you were still early. Like, you you could have been like, this is really bad. This is the enemy team coming from spawn. This is the fight is over. Your team is lost. This is the sweet spot. The enemy team engages. The tanks move in. The tanks take space. The tanks start trading with your tanks. And you blade here. You bladed here. And their tanks were, just, were not engaging it. They were closing the space. They were within, like, shooting distance of your enemy tanks. And they were tickling each other. But it was not, like, this was not a successful timing. Okay. The only reason it worked is because it was good enough. But the problem is, is good enough isn't good enough, right? It, it, because it's not always going to be good enough, right? Sometimes your team will be unsuccessful in dealing with the trace in the back line. We, and sometimes that enemy diva will do a better job appealing for her Ana, right? And then sometimes you're going to blade and you're going to do a lot of damage, but you won't get any kills. And then you will die and then they will use an ult and your team will die. So good enough is only good enough 80% of the time. And you're going to lose 20% of your games because of this, right? So if you're looking at your 50% win rate <clears throat> with this Genjin going, why is it not 60%? Well, maybe 10% of your lost games or 20% of your lost games, maybe why you don't have a 50 to 60 win rate is because of your blade timing, All right? And now it's up for us to find out if that's the case. Yeah, we could I You should read the book called Winners by Alistair Campbell. Alistair? Al Al Alistair Campbell. There's a big part of the book about teamship. Yeah, I've done a lot of I'll have to I'll have to check it out. Thank you. I'm gonna sleep. Hundred MS reaction time, by the way, or however fast yours is. Yikes! Just send the pics of the junk in a bikini emote when it's done. No, oh, please, please, hoist. Have mercy. Sp How do you say your name? Spilo. It is Spilo. I don't really care though. It doesn't really bother me. Don't blade. Oh, we did. Oh, you don't have blade. <laughs> Easy enough not to blade when you uh, don't have it. Ah! Mercy, don't let her get up. Yeah, it's fine. Gotta take more Adderall. <laughs> Shapilo. The Europeans especially just like to butcher my name on purpose. Shapilo. Shapilo. Ha ha! Suck it, suck it, Ash. I had uh, one of my ex-teammates, or players I used to coach, she used to mispronounce my name. He was, um... British he used to butcher it on purpose just to drive me nuts. It's hilarious. All right, have we learned from our mistakes? Is our engagement timing and our blade going to improve, or are we going to dwell in the abyss of mediocrity? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this only works because she's isolated. Tell me why this fails again. Sure, uh, Sherman, I almost called you. Why did I call you Sherman? 
Why is this fail send? Why is this abysmal? Uh, oh. And we're gonna dig down the rabbit hole even further. This Pylonosaurus. Because <laughs> a windstone was right there? No, no. What we what we just talk about engagement time. I mean, yes, yes, but re why was the Winston there? Why was the Winston there? Why was the Winston there? Why was the Winston not elsewhere? Why was there everybody dealing with you? I mean, obviously the Ash was completely by herself, which you know I don't really feel like the blade was necessary there, but whatever. Engaging there, still setting up and staging. And chat, can we think about why that's bad? Um, beyond just getting like getting focused down. So why is this bad? So the diva is trying to help you But your supports can say like this never works. So so chat tell me why This is bad like the kill in the ash is you really didn't need she was just out of position Okay, but can you tell me like ignore like just say the team is like clumped up in this area Why is blading or like where we did bad? Anyway like, even if we get the kill in the ash, why is it bad? Imagine confusing a Genji player with mechanical skill of any sort with Sherman. I don't know why I said Sherman. I wasn't confused with the Genji. For some reason, I thought the Ana was Sherman. I don't know why it's been permanently burned or seared into my room. Closed area? No. It still has to do with engagement timing. Right? If you engage too early, you give them the opportunity to actually disengage. To get out without all dying. If they all die, that wastes more time gives your team more ult charge because they're able to kill everybody on the enemy team. And then there's no chance of them just like regrouping and pushing back in. Like right now, there's nothing stopping this team from just piecing out your team being incapable of chasing them down. And then the Ash comes back in like 10 seconds and then they push in again. So you've done a good job of what, wasting 15 seconds off of a fight win instead of waiting a little bit longer and wasting 30 or 40 seconds plus the, you know, however much ult charge you'd get. Now, there's nothing wrong with being proactive. In fact, being proactive is always better. So, like, going in first, being the first to make a move. But you don't be, like, you don't be proactive in a way that, enga that engages in a stupid location, right? For example, um, if, if we're fighting, if I'm, if I'm going to meet you up at the Wendy's parking lot, and, and you said you had some beef about my mama, right? If I get out of my car and run over to you while you're still in your car and you're I'm like banging on the window like it's no longer effective because then your bodies are going to pile out of the SUV and they're going to pile drive me right whereas if I let you get out of the car we come meet up and then I'm proactive once it actually makes sense that's the worst analogy I've ever made my I can't think. I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. I can't. Anyway, just make like engage in a situation where you can actually get the support of your team, and once the act, the enemy team is actually committing to the fight, and then be the first one to pull out your ult. Right? Be the first one to pull out your ult when it actually makes sense to use an ult. Right? Right. Does that make sense? Then, like the whole stupid analogy I went for. It's like, you're, if this team disengages, like, look look at this. How many blue bodies do you see right here? If this team decides to S key out and res their ash, what are you going to do? That's another thing they're thinking about. They can res their ash and now push into 65. And your team was not, it literally committed cooldowns here. And your team couldn't do anything because they're too far away. Yes, sir, I am. Cool. Yeah, cool to see you. Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate the kind words. So, yeah. So you used an ultimate, and all you did was inconvenience the enemy team. That's all you did, was inconvenience the enemy team. You did not win a fight because there was no fight to be won. There was no fight at all. Oh! You can kill her. Go get her. Oh! No! Oh. Okay, I hate to be that guy though. Like it was funny. Right side, right side. But there was nothing preventing you from just walking this way and not exposing your position. Like you could have walked this way and not exposed your position. And. Monkey, 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 monkey. Oh, 
Oh, man. Congratulations, though. GZ has got some good guys. Make sure to tell Dewboy that he's a disappointment every single time you see him, though. Hey, took too long to set that up. That went almost went really poorly. You just make strange decisions. So I, I want you to break down with me, Send. Everything that has gone wrong here. You take too long. You get dangerously close while you're purple. You decide to appeal for your Zen, whatever, no, no big deal. But then this, like, you're reloading at 21 ammo, and you're jumping entire in front of the entire enemy team while you're not doing anything. Why are you exposing your hitbox if you're not getting anything out of it? Why, why, why are you exposing your hitbox if you're not going to get anything out of it? There's no benefit to this whatsoever. And then you dash in aggressively, the fight's lost, you're going to die in 3, 2, 1. Okay? Like, mmm. Bothersome. I'm going to turn up the audio a little bit. Okay, so you're communicating. Why does this blade suck? 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 Why? Why? What is wrong with your latency? What the heck, dude? I'm glad you got the kill first, because that would have sucked. You didn't even show up in the kill feed. Huh? Why does this blade suck, Send? Nobody is engaged. You didn't even, like, I know you're running an Orisa, which means, you know, engaging is awkward, but at least let your Orisa take a forward position and the enemy team starts to sh break the shield and shoot the shield. Like, let something happen, please. Like, I want a fight to happen. I'm tired of saying this again and again. It's really annoying. Yeah, what the heck happened with your pings, dude? Hey, look at that. Tracer's a sitting duck when she doesn't have, you know, when you've dashed and she doesn't have recall. She's got like no blinks. Farm, farm. Taking a little bit of an off angle is fine. Manipulate their attention elsewhere. Who are you shooting? Because the big thing. Ooh. Is... Wow, wait, wait, stop, chat. Why is it Sin getting curb stomped here? Why isn't the Winston Diva destroying Sin right now? Light theme on Twitter? Do I? Is there even a dark theme on Twitter? Wouldn't it be hard to read? I use dark theme in Discord because only mouth breathers use light. For, but. Because your team engage. Because something is happening on the, you know, directly in front of you. Like, eh. So, you know, your window of opportunity has arisen. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Farm, 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 farm. Why was this on a free low? Why is why why is this on a free low? You had no plan with that blade, did you? Waste of a dash. You went, you went at that blade with zero plan or tracking where anybody was. Don't ever do that again, or I will, I will tell your mom. No hamburger helper for you, my friend. Nice, very clean. <laughs> you mouth breathing piece of trash, skinny white boy, four IQ. 
brain is smooth as a marble. There was zero reason for you to do that. Like, she's dead anyway. You got so greedy, you absolute trash can. You could open your mouth. No, let me, let me, let me make a bit an analogy. If, if we took a hammer and hit yourself in the head with it, it would sound like a gong, wide open space. It would echo for years before it hit anything solid. No, they went over <sighs> Really bothersome. Let's see, chat. What do you guys think? If you were to bet your entire livelihood on the fact that our friend Sen here is going to have a good blade, a good, well-timed blade, would you bet it? Monkey? Why did you stop shooting the monkey? Monkey was so killable. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it! Crap! Get out! Don't be a hero! Don't be a hero! Why are you hiding from your supports? So Mr. Send, engagement timing, when you're committing with your blades specifically. That's all.